uh, I don't have any religion. So okay. our family just basically don't believe in God. I think I will find God in, when I'm in trouble. I think it's not important to um, find proofs. Uh -huh. I think it's just the, mm, mm, the issue of mind. If the God exists, mm -hmm. I think he wants the love. Um, but I thought of like more warm um, functions, like uh, good functions of religions. I can say that we are sinners, but I don't think that very seriously. Well, hello, today I'm on the uh, uh, grounds of the campus of the uh, Hanyang University and I'm here actually in one of their uh, famous uh, amphitheaters. Uh, beautiful, again, university. I uh, just spoke to a young man. Um, seems like there's a bit of a theme. I think the more I speak to uh, Korean students, uh, the more of a theme emerges and that is uh, they believe a religion is um, only for sort of self-help. Um, uh, there's not really a spiritual component. Um, there is a uh, an element where they think that the religion helps bonding communities, helps people in distress, in need. Uh, but there's no sort of element of truth behind it. Nor is there a need to uh, to to sort of seek uh, religion as a statement of truth, of fact. Um, and so uh, there also seems to be this influence of. Um, of uh, someone that I've heard being mentioned a couple of times now, some Yuvar Harari uh, and some of his books uh, which have claimed, which a lot of the students have read, uh, which have uh, which has claimed that, uh, you know, religions are uh, are sort of a product of evolutionary human development uh, to bond communities together uh, and that's about all religions are, um, nothing more, nothing less than that. And so it seems like there seems to be a theme here um, that um, if I'm maybe looking into a little bit more I can help maybe address more directly in the future uh, but yeah a good in good conversation a pleasant young man uh, I've encouraged him again to think about these things uh, more for himself in the future which we sh which he seems to be open to so uh, I will pray for him that he does exactly that and in the meantime yeah have a look um, let me know what you thought and see you in the next video bye Yeah, I start with the same question to everyone, and that is, do you have a religion? Do you have a faith? Um, what is it? Uh, I don't have any religion. No religion, no faith. Yeah. Is that ever changed for you? Were you like earlier, when you were younger, uh, were you going to like a church or a temple? Uh, no, I, nev I never had a religion. In my never? Life. Okay. Yeah. Even your parents and your uh, family, were they... Um, ever religious and did they kind of offer to you to to um, join them my mom recently believed in uh, what do they call not catholic the uh, protestant or yeah i think it's um to, but the christian a christian a christian, a yeah. christian christian view okay okay did she ever try to sort of explain why she believed why she joined uh, to you yeah because she became too hard to live her life. Ah, okay. It became a bit harsh to her. I see. I see. So, I see. like, about four years ago, yeah, she started to believe in to believe Christian. In. But nowadays, she doesn't go to church that much. Okay. Yeah. So okay. our family just basically don't believe in God. Understand. And you would say you don't believe. I. I. My first question was about religion, but I guess sometimes people. Uh, would say I don't have religion but I believe that there could be a God like they would call themselves spiritual well how would you say do you think that there is a God or there's a possibility of a God um, sometimes I find for God but um, I think I don't believe in God because uh, 
I didn't actually think deeply in the topic uh -huh. about God or religion. I just um, grew up not to, I mean, I grew up with no relationship with God or religion. So I just became a human who's yeah. not believing in those things or not thinking deeply about those things. I understand, I understand. And is that something you ever in the back of your mind thought to yourself, oh, maybe one day I'll look deeper into this, I'll, I'll investigate more, or is that not something you see yourself ever? Uh, maybe look? when I will, like, like my mom, mm -hmm. when I be like in trouble or some ah. hard to um, challenge the life with only myself, mm -hmm. I think I'll kind of believe or find some God or any religious things to help myself. I see, I see. So is that is that kind of what your understanding maybe is of religion and of faith? Is something that helps helps people in life when it's hard, in their hard circumstances and difficulties? I think so. That's what the uh, um, kind of main benefit of religion is? Um, no, I think the main benefit is like um, bounding people mm -hmm. and like grouping people in believing something just um, same thing same thing okay. and um, participate or share their like thoughts easily right they're like so it provides an environment for them yeah to share or like um, help themselves but I think that's the main benefit of the religion or believing in God yeah uh, but in my opinion, I will, I think I will find God in, when I'm in trouble. Right. Um, that's because I, I think I don't like to share um, my life very much with other people. Not yeah. yet. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think that's the reason. Got it, got it. Okay. Um, Here's like, for example, one scenario, right? Let's say you do, you know, later in your life, you do encounter trouble and um, you start saying, oh, you want to turn to God. Uh, but then God, you know, if, if God could speak, if God could speak and, and he, would, he would tell you, where were you all along? You just come to me when you need me, mm -hmm. when you come to me when you're in trouble. Just imagine a relationship. I don't know if you have maybe a girlfriend or um, or something like that, yeah, right? And I if you... Girlfriend. And if you and if you come to her only when you're in trouble, like only when you need mm. something, uh, then she would she would feel, oh, he's using me, he is <laughs> using me yeah. for his benefit. Uh, that would be a difficult relationship, wouldn't it? Mm, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But as I said, uh -huh. I didn't uh, think deeply. Yes. In my yes, life, yeah. I did. I, yeah. So. Hmm, maybe sometimes when I get more interested in <laughs> get more interested yeah yeah, yeah 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 um, how about from a more of um, like intellectual uh, perspective um, mm -hmm. uh, and I know you said that you haven't looked at it too much deeply right um, but I'm just sort of wondering do you would you have a difficulty believing in God from a um, you know what, I need some sort of a proof, I need mm. some sort of evidence, or that is not your problem necessarily, that is not what you need. Yeah, I think it's not important to um, find proofs. Uh -huh. I think it's just the, mm, the issue of mind uh -huh. and beliefs about more like, uh, not rational things, but the like emotional, more emotional mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So I don't really care about the proofs or I see. the intellectual aspect aspect yeah. of it. I understand. Aspects, yeah. yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. And what do you think if you could ask God, or if we could ask God, right? What does He want from us? Uh, if you could guess, right? If you could guess. Yeah what God wants from his people, what God wants from them, what would you think that is? 
And I'm talking maybe, you know, I guess uh, the kind of God I'm thinking in, in this sense is more kind of, I don't know if you have at least some idea of a Christian God. Yeah. Christian God, like it won't, not, not, um, like not in, Hindu, in Hinduism, yeah, yeah, there's, there's many gods, right? I'm talking about a single, yeah. you know, God, the Almighty. What would he want from his people? Um, love. Love to like everybody. Uh -huh. um, I think we should love each other and respect each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the God exists, mm -hmm. I think He wants the love. Uh, so love for one another. Yeah, love to each other, as you say. Yeah, like um, globally. Globally, yeah. Um, humanism. Yeah. I don't know, like love everyone yeah yeah so. and do you think he would want us to have a relationship with him as well with him as in um speak to him and pray to him and be obedient to him like because i understand the part about um god would want us to be good to one another yeah that's more i would call it kind of horizontal right horizontal relationships yes. a human being to human being mm -hmm. And relationships do you think do you think he wants us to have a good relationship with him as well mm, I'm not sure mm. maybe but mm, I think the more important thing is horizontal okay love. okay Okay, let me offer you to tell you something and I would like to see your reaction to it, okay? Yeah. Um, and this might be new to you and I appreciate that. That's why I would like to just see how you think about this, right? So, again, going back to the Christian idea, right? Um, when Jesus was asked in the Bible uh, from someone, uh, he said, um, uh, Teacher, what is the greatest commandment? What is the greatest commandment right do you want to you understand that word right what is the greatest yeah. commandment right um, and jesus answered there are two right two two commandments one is uh, love the lord your god with all your heart with your mind and soul and strength right and the second one is love your neighbor as yourself mm. right so i think what you said is love your neighbor yeah right that's important but he said there's there's another one mm -hmm. to love God to love God right so if we are coming at this question from a Christian perspective he wants us to love and dedicate and devote ourselves to him as well is that a surprise is that a surprise to you or is that unexpected or mm. uh, I don't know I have no idea okay um, not not surprised not surprised okay yeah. and I think the reason he said that is because there's another concept um, that we find in Christianity and that is the concept of sin do you understand the word sin yeah it's like I've done something bad something bad right right and the idea is that when you do bad it separates you from God mm -hmm. right um, the idea I believe is that um, God hates sin he loves people uh, but he hates when they do things that hurt one another and also that separate um, that basically they do things that he told them not to do um, like the examples of sin would be stealing yeah. lying um, doing uh, you know, for example um, uh, uh, looking you know let's say if I'm married and I'm looking at another woman with mm -hmm. lust um, that would be like um, adultery um, and other things like that and not respecting your parents um, those are called sin and the idea is that that separates us from God because God does not tolerate any sin um, is that does that idea of sin does that make sense to you do you think that that it that is a real thing or do you think that the idea of a sin is something that you would agree with is is bad or is that something just for those who are religious uh, they would say that that's bad I don't understand by like the real thing so for example do you think 
um, uh, sin yeah. is something that um, God could charge you with, right? Is that like an offense to God, ah, a real one? Okay, okay. Just like in the law, right? In the law, mm. you could do, you could speed, you, uh, if you, if you, if you um, drive your car mm -hmm. faster than a speeding yeah. limit, you get charged, mm -hmm. right? You say, well, you've, you've crossed the speed limit, here's a ticket, and now you have okay. to pay for it. Mm -hmm. and so in the, in, the, in the spiritual sense, sin mm -hmm. is something that can be charged against you. Right. Even if the law doesn't do anything, like you could lie to your mom, you could lie to your girlfriend, law is not going to do anything about this, but God might say, well, you have, you have lied, and okay. that is an offense. I've never been scared of like, um, those sins. Right. I just thought of like religious thing, like it's right. good to not um, doing sins right um, I never thought of like uh, the aspect of charge yeah. or punishment yes and that's interesting that you said that's why I was asking the question whether whether you you've, you've thought about it in the same way because um, you know I spoke about what um, what separates us from God and the in again in a Christian perspective that sin is so serious mm -hmm. it means that people go to hell mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you understand the concept of heaven and hell yeah, yeah so the idea is that sinners people who sin mm -hmm. they go to hell it is so serious mm -hmm. did you okay. did you connect the two ever before is that like something that you uh, see the the connection or I thought of like more warm um, functions like love and yeah those yeah. Um, good functions of religions right but I've never thought of those like those other those other yeah, yeah more yeah. like yeah. Um, human based kind of human con connections right connections between humans and yeah, or community and and love and um, restrict one's behavior yeah those kinds of things i've never thought of right right it's interesting do, do you are you put off by that are you saying oh i don't i don't I, you don't like those things about religion or do you there's something you may, might need to think more about yeah i think i'm not following those mm -hmm. things and mm, yeah I think it's um, not bad but like right. more um, I don't know what to say <laughs> uh, It's like more scary impressions, mm -hmm. um, so I think I don't like those. You don't like those things, yeah. yeah. I understand. It's, it's not it's not a pleasant thing, right? It's not a pleasant thing, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, certainly from a Christian perspective, they are serious, right? They are mm -hmm. serious things. Um, and not just in Christianity. I mean, if you look at any religion, mm -hmm. the idea of a sin, you know, in Islam and in, in even in, in Hinduism, uh, the idea is that these are serious these are serious things that separate us from God mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that um, okay. you know, we will incur some sort of a punishment or a payment because we have not listened to the one who created us right now maybe I'm kind of wrapping it up um, just kind of a couple of other questions if you're okay um, if that is the case and uh, would you agree that that makes most of us sinners like I would say I have lied in the past. I've lied, right? Uh, I have stolen things. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done things with my eyes I shouldn't do it with my hands. The things that I shouldn't do that makes us all sinners. Mm -hmm. Would you agree that all of us are sinners in that? In that, from that perspective? Mm, maybe we can be, but I don't know the um, seriousness of sin. Right. I don't follow the concept. Right. Like like the other Christians or believers. Correct, so, yeah. 
I can say that we are sinners, but I don't think that very seriously. You don't think that that's very serious, right? But you would agree that that would make us sinners in the Christian, from a Christian perspective, right? Yeah. From a Christian pers or from a religious perspective, that would make us sinners. Yeah, we could all be sinners. We could all I be think. sinners, right? Yeah. Even though you, I appreciate that you don't, you don't think of that as a serious, serious thing. Um, do you think that there is like a way out? Like if 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 sinner, sinners go to hell, who goes to heaven? Is the question then? Um, do you have some idea of who goes to heaven? Um, maybe the Bible will say the not sinners right. will go to heaven, but I think that um, in their selves, human in, in human their selves, like. If I satisfy with her or his life and um, think that his or her are not guilty, yeah, um, I think they can also go to heaven. Right. But basically, I don't believe the uh, um, heaven or hell. Right. So that's um, a kind of tricky. Tricky. Yeah. 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 What would it make you believe, right? So that's that's another question I'd like to I'd like to ask um, you know students. What would change your mind? Mm. I'm not sure. Um, I've never thought of believing religions. Mm -hmm. Not because of. Um, my like emotional needs yeah when i need boundaries or like when i need to share something with people so i didn't expect the um situation of believing mm -hmm. in god mm -hmm. to me um so i'm not sure okay okay so you said previously it wouldn't be an uh, amount of evidence like if i could show you uh, not that I'm able to do that, but if I could somehow prove it to you, right? Um, here's the evidence for existence of God, historical evidence, uh, witness evidence, um, mm -hmm. philosophical evidence, logical evidence, and then give you a bunch of people who have um, personally been changed and, and transformed by that and um, who had that experience of encountering God. Those things would not do much to you. Not so much. Yeah, but I'm curious about like philosophical evidence or um, intellectual evidence. Yeah. But I'm not that interested in like um, visual visual evidence things yeah. or yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And interesting. I mean, one of the philosophical intellectual evidences are you know are often an argument is made that everything that moves or everything that that exists and has a beginning right and then if you think about the big bang mm -hmm. and the start of the universe um, uh, what was there before the universe started right um, and the scientists are trying to answer that question from a scientific pers yeah. perspective but um, there it's difficult uh, mm -hmm. and um, but religions you know the religions would say um, uh, for the material universe to start something that's not material had had to start it a spiritual something mm -hmm. has had to start it you know, let's say god started it yeah. god god began it right so um, that's one one way to do it another way to do it is um often is put forward is the moral argument right um, the reason we know something is good or bad mm -hmm. is only because of someone who tells us who gives us the uh the the moral standard that we can judge things by uh, otherwise, if you if you ever heard of a person called Richard Dawkins, he wrote a book called uh, God Delusion. He said, mm -hmm. if you think about it from a purely scientific perspective, we're just atoms. We're just atoms, right? We're just molecules. We're just atoms. Uh, what does it matter if I or you kill me now, right? Mm -hmm. All you will be doing, you will just rearrange my molecules and my atoms and I'll go back into the earth. Right, and what's the problem with that? Right, it's just atoms and molecules. Uh, why is that a bad thing? Mm. What makes something bad? Right, uh, the only reason something is bad is that if someone says it's bad, right, and and historically, right, people 
uh, feel in their heart that that is bad, but they cannot explain why. Mm. Uh, but we know from a religious perspective it's bad because God has put a value on life. You know, mm. He has created a life and He said it's precious, right? Yeah. And He's created life in His image. He made us in His image and He wants us to live. Mm -hmm. And He said it's a bad thing to take someone's life. Um, that is called a sin, right? Uh, do not murder is one of those Ten Commandments. Um, so from that perspective, we, you know, theologians, they have an answer for why something is good or bad. Scientists have no answer. Uh, science just observes. It makes observations. It makes conclusions. Uh, but it does not make uh, statements of value. Mm -hmm. To a scientist, nothing is more or less valuable. A life is no more or less valuable than non-life. A stone or this bench or a star is no more or less valuable than you. Um, value is um, a metaphysical thing and it's only explained in terms of metaphysical answers, right? Um, we, we kind of can internalize it, we can, we can explain it in our, in our own heart, yeah. but in our mind it's difficult to, to put it together, I think. I don't know if you've heard any other explanations for that, or does that make sense? I've read the book of Yuval Harari. Okay. So he said uh, the religion came out because uh, people need to. Uh, people found the need of community. Yeah. Is it Sapiens? That book is called Sapiens. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Those I, I believe the um, birth of religion in that perspective, or. Like, I think that people um, evolved to not to harm each other because it helps more to um, thrive mm -hmm. and um, give birth to babies and generate generation. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's. Uh, scientific reason mm -hmm. why people not harm each other or right. not having bad um, emotions right. try to communicate yeah but you can see the the flaw in that argument and and uh, you know the, the one flaw in that argument is that there are atheistic communities communities that don't believe at all in God and they can thrive together mm -hmm. um, as well uh, I think maybe what that Yuvar Harari is, is trying to say that uh, which I would agree with is that communities when they come together they they share a sense of values a sense of values common values right mm -hmm. a sense of common culture right and often that may may include religion uh, but I would disagree that the religion is a, a, an inevitable outcome of such communities uh, mm -hmm. because and the, the reason for that is because you have communities that are not religious mm -hmm. and that are pretty held together by non-religious um, ideas such as communism right mm -hmm. communism you have entire countries that were very specifically communist right they had a common set of ideas which is communism mm -hmm. but they rejected religion altogether mm -hmm. right that's true right um, so you can have a sense of morality sense of values that doesn't require religion Mm -hmm. Right, religion is just maybe one of those, right? Uh, and so, but I would argue, right, that the religion is has a different sense of origin. Religion is a, an attempt from for, for human beings to answer the question of uh, uh, why, of why of the existence. Not so not so much how we should live. Mm -hmm. I think there there is a sense of religion that tells you how you should live, but a more deeper question yeah. that religion tries to answer is why you should live mm -hmm. what is the purpose of my life mm -hmm. and also what happens after I die mm -hmm. right I think that is why religions have existed because human beings from the very beginning have looked at the stars and they wondered they say they saw that they're so small and the creation and the universe is so large mm -hmm. and so they wonder what is my place in this large universe what is my role what is my purpose yeah, that's... And not just that, but they saw things they couldn't explain, right? Um, they saw wonders in the in the stars, and they saw things that are greater than them. They couldn't explain, and so they attributed those to gods, right? 
and I know there's many different religions I'm not arguing that there's no not different religions but I'm just saying I think there's a different I would say that to me there's a different need there's a different set of questions that the religion answers um, not just humanistic needs but I think the spiritual needs like I think we are uh, not just bo body and mind but we're body mind and soul or spirit right I think that that third element uh, of our existence is what um, you know religion is seeking to address we have a hole in our heart uh, that I think only can be fit and fulfilled by a spiritual fulfillment would be would be my suggestion here yeah. Yeah. Um, does that make sense at all or I know it's something maybe for you to think about uh, as well yeah yeah it, um, yeah I agree with the um, reason why we should find the reason why we are leaving li living or yeah. Mm. Someday I will um, also uh, research about mm -hmm. those topics when I get a little bit older and have more time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't have much time. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, <laughs> university students don't have a lot of time. Um, yeah. Let me just wrap up uh, with this final final point that I just wanted to make, and and just to tie off to something I said earlier about, you know, heaven and hell. Um, the the question that I left unanswered is who goes to heaven, and um, I'll I'll give you the Christian answer, right? The Christian answer, and that's something that you can take away later on when you do look into these things. You can kind of maybe hopefully you can remember uh, what I'm about to say, and and who goes to heaven is is not people who have never sinned because all of us have done bad but goes who goes to heaven is forgiven people forgiven people and people who have um accepted the one who can you know be the, what I'm, you know, what I'm trying to say in christian perspective god is a god of love right god knows us he became one of us um in the person of jesus right so if you believe that jesus came 2,000 years ago, he walked the earth. Uh, that means that God became one of us. He experienced our troubles. Mm -hmm. He experienced our frustrations. He experienced our hunger. He experienced our pain. Mm -hmm. He experienced our living conditions, right? He knows what it's like to suffer. He's not a God who's somehow very distant and very not understanding. He knows us very personally and very intimately, mm -hmm. and he loves us, right? He did not want to leave us in this state, in the state where we do not have any guidance and we do not have any help. And so, in order to save us from punishment of our sins, He sent His Son, Jesus, to die on the cross, right? An analogy here, going back to that analogy of um, speeding ticket. Let's say you did speed, you got a ticket, mm -hmm. right? You go, you go to court. And the judge demands, I don't know, 100,000 won from you to pay for the ticket, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you say, I don't have the money, I'm sorry. Um, well, judge would say, look, so you got to pay. It uh, doesn't matter what else you've done correctly, what, how much money you've given to charity, what other good things you've done. Mm -hmm. The payment is payment. Yeah. 100,000 won is the payment. Now imagine that I walk into the courtroom, mm -hmm. I open up my wallet, and I pay judge would say okay thank you payment has been made you are free to go that is what the Christian analogy is mm -hmm. God himself steps in to pay for the sins Jesus Christ he died on a cross mm -hmm. to pay for the sins the punishment that we deserve mm -hmm. he paid for it himself so that we become forgiven people we become people who are clean and in God's eyes we have no more sin mm -hmm. right that is the Christian, what's called the Christian good news, right? Mm -hmm. So the sin part is the bad news, yeah. uh, and it's true of everyone. Uh, but in Christian worldview, God has paid for the sins and so completely uh, purchases a salvation for us. And all He requires from us is not to go to church, not to uh, read Bible or pray or anything. He just requires us to trust Him, just to trust Him fully mm -hmm. for what He has done already, right? I'll leave you with that thought, um, just something that, um, you know, 
made a huge difference in my life way back when, many, many years ago. Mm, um, okay. And I think it's, it's um, this good news is for, for um, a lot of people should be hearing it more of the good news mm. of religion. Yeah. Uh, not just how religion can help them in a day-to-day -day life, but how they can be right with God in a relationship with Him. Uh, and until we trust Him, we will be always His enemies. Uh, his enemies because we continue to sin against him. That's that's the good news. And um, thank you for listening to me. Uh, and thank you for your thoughts, which were very honest and very um, well articulated. You speak very good English, so I really Perfect. appreciate <laughs> your thoughts and your time as well, which yeah. I've probably taken much more than you you thought I would be. So, uh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much again. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. I and, appreciate it either. And I wish you all the best. And I will pray that you do take time in the future just to look into these things yeah okay these are worthwhile thank you so thank much you. Yeah. <laughs>